Welcome back to Jeevis Gaming guys. I don't know if you can see this quite there, but we actually went out about maybe 20 minutes out of our county on Craigslist and met somebody to get this cat trap. We have two more things of cat food. So let me tell you, we are catching that little kitten tonight. Tonight's Tuesday night. We're getting rain Wednesday night. So this is honestly like our last chance to do this. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up. And there goes the cat food. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget there'll be a mystery word somewhere in the video put it down in the comments below along with some random ones just to confuse people P.O. box and social media links are down in the description below and anyway let's go catch this kitten and let's go dumpster diving all right guys as we pulled up behind the shopping center the little kitten is in the street again I don't know who's playing with a leaf or something but anyway we set up the trap behind the dumpster and we got food in there and now we're gonna head over to McDonald's get a drink give him like 20 minutes fingers crossed we come back and he's in there you don't not know how happy I would be if he's in there and we can save the kitten we have two cats in our house already they're fat and happy now that both came off the streets that we found like this so one was at Dairy Queen and one was at a bush across from or on the back street of our house yep they both are rescue, so we'd like to add another rescue. Anyway, let's go get a drink and be back, and I'll let you know what happens. Guys, you're not going to believe it. Look what we got. But that's not the crazy part. We caught the little kitten right here. As you can see, the crazy part is he had a sibling. Look over here. And somehow, they both managed to get inside the cage and oh. trap themselves. I don't really know how they did this, but... The other one's dark, but he's back there. He seems really timid. The white one seems really more outgoing. I mean, obviously they're both pretty scared right now, but the white one at least smelled my finger. The other one's just really scared in the corner right now. So we're not gonna be dumpster diving tonight. We're gonna end up taking these kittens home right now and then try to find some type of 24 hour shore, probably a Walmart somewhere and go get some milk, water, food. Well, I think we still have a cat bed and everything like that. And we're gonna basically let them live in the little the room we would record our videos in since none of the, our bigger cats can get in there right now that's going to be their living spot for at least a month or so to where they can get strong and of course i guess we'll update you guys when you get home just wanted to give you a quick update i could not believe how easy this was put the trap down five minutes got a drink came back both of them were in there he's so, so tired he's closing his eyes he is so if tired. it's a boy or girl which we don't even know we yet. don't know if they're a boy or girl we yet. have to take him to the vet but within 20 seconds of putting the food down they were out again so against they know it's risky they came out anyway that just tells me how hungry they really really are and this one even in the car ride bumping around in the highway this guy's eating food in the corner too so they are really hungry so i just can't wait to get them home and again we'll update you guys when we get there so be right back all right guys so we're actually gonna go ahead and stop by the safeway i know that we're thinking about it because they do close at midnight and it's 10 30 and we still have like 20 minutes to get home and whatnot so we're gonna take the camera in here she's gonna take the camera in here i'm sitting with the kittens i don't want to be one of those douchebag people that leave animals in the car but no one there because that's terrible so i'm gonna stay in the car with the kittens mostly because i want to see them but honestly the real reason is because i feel awkward as hell bringing this camera in the store so that's why she's gonna do that see what we get for the kittens and see you then all right guys so we are in safeway and in the pet food aisle so i'm trying to think of what i need here so i know since they are kittens i need this if I can focus it, kitten milk replacer. So it looks like I can just put this in a bowl, which is great. When I got um, our cat Mario, I had to mix it with water, which is kind of tedious, but whatever. Um, so let's see, here's ear cleaner, which I don't need. I'm gonna take them to the, once I take them to the vet and I see exactly what's wrong with them, then I will decide if we need like dewormer or um, like flea and tick medicine, like right here. So I need that. All right, gentle cat chow. All right, kitten, kitten, kitten. We got a kitten here. I need kitten food, not adult. I am a healthy kitten and a dewormer. Um, I think that's it. We have, I still have a bunch of toys from our cat, so I don't need to deal with that right now. Like I said, soft food, I'm kind of talking out loud to you guys. Um, oh, let's see if we can find like a pan or something and I'll just steal litter from our cat's litter pan and put it in there. So I'm gonna look at all these and see if I can find a pretty cheap small one. I know I can get them at Dollar Tree but I need one now and I can't wait till tomorrow at like 9 a.m. We're gonna get this. I have this, I'm gonna put litter in that and there's it's a two pack so there's one for each of them if they feel they need to use it. Or I might just use one um, 
case I need to clean it out eventually, which what I probably do, but let's go check out. All right, guys, so here's the one little kitten. This one's actually a girl. Now that we've got them home, we checked them out a little bit. That's the girl and the boy, the white one that we've seen on video. I'm not sure if you can see him, but he is hiding in here. Let me zoom this camera out a little bit. This is the bed we found at CVS, Look. by the way. <laughs> That's the bed we found at CVS, if you remember it. I don't know if you heard that, but he's hiding in here. They're kind of, I mean, they run from us, but at the same time, we picked her up and put her on the bed, and she's not running too, too much. So right now, we've got the wet food they've been eating set up. We bought um, kitten milk, like milk designed for kittens. And then we have like a little pan over there. It's gonna be a litter box. And of course, a couple blankets set up right here for them to sleep on. Cause I know even when we're like trying to pick them up, they're closing their eyes nonstop. Cause I mean, living in the wild, I feel like they've probably never had a good night's sleep. So right now we're just gonna try to brush them a little bit, get whatever dirt out. If you can't see her face, she's pretty dirty right now. So yeah, she's a calico though. So she does look like that, but she definitely has dirt on her whiskers and stuff. So we're gonna try to brush them and clean them up and then just shut the door and let them sleep eat drink whatever they need to do and we'll check on them in the morning so be back again with another update all right guys so i wanted to show you something that's kind of cool i mean not cool but cool like maybe 10 years ago this door got a giant hole from it because a barbell set fell on it and we just had it covered up with a poster instead of replacing it so i just figured if we just take the poster down we can see them right there and as you can see that's the little girl right there and the boy is in the tunnel still can't really get a good angle at that but they haven't really moved since then they've been pretty much sleeping and watching us but the reason I wanted to say something is we need to think of names and I figured it'd be kind of cool to ask you guys since we found them dumpster diving so any good names you see all the cases that fall off the wall over there because we we're moving so much stuff around but any creative names you could think of for the cats let us know the one thing we we're thinking of a lot of people have heard of dumpster diving is Dee Dee so maybe naming the girl Dee Dee and for any people that watch cartoons in the 90s the boy could be Dexter and it could be Dexter and Dee Dee that's just one thought I have but if anyone has any other creative names for the cats just let me know in the comments below alright guys a little bit more good news just brushed them for a while and from what we can see we got a flea comb over there we have for the other cats and we brushed them out and no fleas which is a really good thing I was thought for sure they'd have fleas the other two we stayed off the street were covered in fleas but from what we can see there's no visible fleas but of course within the next few days we're gonna make sure we take them both to the vet and get them checked out and make sure they don't have any underlying health problems that we can't see from the outside but as for now it may sound a little cliche but this is definitely our best dumpster I can find yet we got not the one kitten but two and just to let anyone know that's curious we left the trap out there for another hour and a half and nothing so these two were definitely the only ones we looked around we left it out there there was no more cats out there so we luckily we saved these two and they'll definitely be comfy down here and hopefully tonight they'll be able to actually get a full night to sleep for the first time maybe in their life to be honest because they might have been wild their entire life who knows but anyway guys kind of different today but thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up look i'm talking and she's already going to sleep they're probably so tired and if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day and we'll definitely do more updates on the cats randomly there after they get checked up and they start to grow and they get more comfortable with us but right now i mean Think of it from their point of view. Some big two-legged creatures just picked them up, put them in a cage, and took them in a machine to get, take them to some dungeon for all they know. So they're pretty terrified right now. But like I said, we'll leave them alone, let them sleep. And again, thanks so much for watching. The social media links and PO box are down in the description below. Thank you so much, and until next time, peace out. All right, guys. Before we go, I just wanted to say a couple more things. Again, if you have any names for the cats, put them in the comments down below. And two, I just want to know if anyone else has any experience rescuing feral cats now. We've already, like I said, saved two and there are cats now. But if anyone has any random piece of advice or anything else you think we should get for the kittens just to make their experience easier to adapt to, I guess, and make everything just simpler and easier, let me know in the comments below since this is the first one we found dumpster diving. And now, for real, I will say, peace out.